Uh, well, some of St. Louis' city crown jewels are getting a deep cleaning and restoration. Two pavilions in Tower Grove Park that are each about 150 years old are being made new again. Fox 2's Rocky Madden is live in South St. Louis to show us, Rocky. Well, Mandy, the Turkish pavilion here behind me, probably best known for that red and white roof, kind of a candy cane look there, is already being blocked off the fencing so that crews can begin their work. We love coming to the park and if it keeps the, the structure around for people to use and enjoy while they're here in the park, I think that's great. The old playground pavilion is also being restored. Both pavilions have experienced a great deal of wear and tear over the years. And although they've been painted probably more than once, this is a first of its kind cleaning and repair job for them. This uh, restoration will be very, very significant, probably the most significant of their nearly 150 year age. From Bomberito Automotive Group Skyfox, you can get a good look at the Turkish Pavilion. Park officials want to protect an important part of the city's history. The pavilions are recognized around the world. People who recognize Victorian architecture quickly identify our pavilions here at the park. The architecture is amazing. Um, history is very important just to remember where we've been. And if, you know, if there's something cool that's been built, why don't we fix it instead of just tearing it down? Many St. Louisans remember celebrating a special occasion in the pavilions. Oh, we do like barbecues and um, have just all the family come around, just meet up and have a good time listening to music. This is a place where families host birthday parties, host anniversary parties, graduation parties. It's keeping my memories alive. They will be illuminated to show off their beauty at night. Crews check archives to make sure the colors used at each pavilion match the original colors painted back in 1872. That's good to have something pretty at a pretty park. Obviously, these uh, two pavilions projects are not cheap. Coming up at 10, the price tag, and you may be surprised who's paying for them. Reporting live here in South City, I'm Rocky Madden, Fox 2 News.